War has never been kind to people that want to do it on the cheap. However, you can still tank Ragnaros in fire resistance cap for very cheap, thanks to being a bit of a, of a jerk, okay? So I'm gonna teach you how I was able to hit uh, fire resistance cap on the first lockout and how you can do it too. Why is everyone hurt throwing rainbows at people? I just logged in guys. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at my fire resistance set and I'm gonna teach you what's the most optimal ways to do this. Now if I were to equip my set right now, you can see I am on 232, I am 2 over the cap because remember the totem is 60 and the elixir, okay, the elixir of chromatic resistance, the flask actually, it persists through that, it lasts you 2 hours and it is only like 20 gold. Of course you wanna get this elixir, like any other elixir is not gonna, gonna count. You could go for a flask of titans, this one, to get HP and get a juju ember on top of that, which is 15, but we're not gonna do that. Now one mistake I made in my video is that Marco the Wild does not stack with Totem anymore, so that was a bummer. Also they nerfed the, the buff you can get in LBRS, that also doesn't work anymore, it did in Classic 2019, it doesn't work anymore. So all you get from buffs is the Flask and the Totem, which is 85, and that's it. So 230 plus 85 is 315, which is exactly the cap. A couple of the notable, very easy to get items right here. Uh, wildfire Cape is 25 resistance, you can get this from the first boss of Hoovers, of course you wanna get this one. And the enchant that gives you 20 more fire resistance, it was found, you get it from Honored with Hydraxian Waterlords. Of course guys, you gotta get Honored with Hydraxian Waterlords to get this Quintessence over here, where is it? This one right here, you need this item to clear Molten Core to summon Ragnaros, so you gotta get this anyway, so you're gonna get this 25 resistance for free. It is so cheap, I keep a couple of my bags, just in case I, I wanna get a cloak or something, who knows? So so yeah, this alone is 45 res. This is huge. Now, the other items I want to talk about, most of them are going to be leather and over, which also means that if you are a poorly old Warlock tank, and I think this is one of the reasons that Warlock tanks have not been very popular this phase, uh, you have a really hard time hitting cap. Your only hope is getting the Flare Core set. Uh, it is now purchasable in the auction house, but let's take a look at the value, okay? So you can see right here, the gloves are 500 gold, the robe is 770 gold. It is not terrible. Uh, you, you can probably get this and the stats are not terrible either you get a bunch of spell power it's not the best but you can live with this sadly this set is gonna set you back like 1800 gold which is a no no for me luckily if you can wear leather you can skip a lot of this process and get even more fire res very easily you see one thing they did for seasonal discovery is that the volcanic breastplate the volcanic set that i recommended you to get they put like 10 more fire resistance in every single item here so it actually adds up to a quadrillion fire resistance i got the pants over here because i got my tier 1 pants already but uh, this is uh, the same fire res as you can see this is 35 resistance this is 25 fire resistance, the shoulders are another 25, so that's 80 just on the items. And then there is a set bonus, the two pieces, 10 more. So this is 90 fire resistance that you're gonna get from three items. Now, one of the cool parts about these items is that they are damn near worthless. Take a look at this, 30 gold for the shoulders, that's 25 fire res. Uh, 30 gold for the breastplates, that, that's nothing. The pants are also 35 gold. So with like 120 gold, uh, less actually, like 110, you can get your entire set covered. And remember guys, I know you're gonna be worrying, you're gonna say, uh, but if you're a warrior, you're gonna wear leather, aren't you gonna get destroyed? Well, no, because there is only two bosses where fire resistance is a big deal. Almost every boss in Molten Core, it helps to have fire resistance, but if you're gonna tank him, there is only two bosses where you gotta take a fire resistance cap, and that is Baron Gedon, and that is Ragnaros. Now, Baron Gedon is extremely easy if you got fire resistance. I got hit for like 900 every 2.5 seconds. I was essentially full HP the whole fight. Ragnaros did hit a little harder but once again it was like maybe 20 percent physical damage and 80 percent fire damage so you should sacrifice all the uh, physical resistance you can to get fire damage anyway fire resistance also keep in mind that a volcanic set has bonus armor on it that's why the armor number is green if you are to compare it with the tier 1 set which is not really fair because the tier 1 set is like a super high item level it's like tier 1 obviously but even then it is 655 against 238 so you're only sacrificing like a thousand armor total which is 
it's, it will matter, it's something, but it's not a huge deal, it's like 5% more physical damage. And that's the worst case scenario, if you are a shaman, that's even less. So we take the cloak for 40 and this set for 90, we got already 135 resistance. There is also a really good freebie you're gonna get, okay? If you do your quintessence quest, and you should because how are you gonna pull Ragnaros if you don't have the quintessence? Please don't make me do two summons to get my quintessences again, I had to do it the last raid and it, it, it was awful, okay? We lost like an hour doing that. Please do your quest, but if you do the quintessence quest, you're gonna get uh, Hydraxian Waterlords, and this is what you get for the quest. 22 attack power and 25 resistance, for free. This is as good as the 300 gold rings. This right here is not even the best in slot one, okay? There is one for 25 resistance, it is not in the market right now, but this one is already going for 300 gold. So yeah, it's gonna be over 300 gold to get a, a ring with 25 resistance. And you can get it for freaking free if you do your quest, which you should do anyway. 130 plus 20, that's 150. Then there is also the necklace from Onyxia, that's another 15 fire resistance, you get that one for free, you gotta get your Onyxia attunement anyway. Of course, if you are a shaman or a warrior or a paladin, you're also gonna be using a shield, and the best shield you can get right now is this one from Ubers, and it happens to have 10 fire resistance on it. For the sake of this video, I will not count it, because obviously, uh, you, if you're a druid or if you're a warlock, you cannot use it, but if you can use it, that's another 10 for free that you're gonna get anyway, getting your pre-raid best in slot. Now, another thing I could get very easily is the Dark Iron Seal, this is from uh, BRD, the Emperor drops it and if you're the tank you're gonna get it, I mean nobody really needs it. And this one is almost as good as the best ring you can get, so might as well get this one. It has 10 stamina on it, which also helps. You can get this one also, the Ubers ring, the key from Ubers, but it is only 10 fire res. I mean, if you already got the key, you might as well use that one. So we got 150, then we put 15 and 15, that's 30 more, that's 180. We are only 50 away from the cap already, and this is like very easy items to get. Now, this one I got very lucky for, because I was farming Ubers all day anyway, and I got this one. This is a super rare item, the Gibbs Call of Fire Resistance, it's a random enchant every time, you can get like an Ercho Rest, you can get whatever. This one, like, this is the first run I did actually. This is like a 2% chance to get. Funnily enough. However, if you're a male user, you can actually get uh, the Sunblaze Koi from Scarlet Monastery, the guy from the dogs, Houndmaster something. That guy drops it. It's super easy to get. You can solo for it. And that's 10 though. That's only 10. But yeah, we're not gonna count this one for now. Now, another item you can get very easily is these boots. Of course, I am I am plate. This drop from Maleki the Pallid in Stratolm. They have 25 res. It is only plate, obviously, so... I can only use them or paladins, but there is another alternative, the same boss, Maliki the Pallid in Stratolm and Dead, he also drops a belt with 25 resistance on it, and that one is leather, so anybody can use it, actually if I got it, I probably would use it too, I mean not anymore because I got lucky, I got the belt from Azure Ghost, but back in the first lockout, I totally would have used it, but assuming you got that belt, we're talking another 25 res right there, so we only need 30 more for the cap, once again, that's not counting the helmet I got, that's not counting the shield, because you might not be able to use a shield, I am not counting the belt you can get and the boots at the same time, because not everybody's a plate wearer, but you can see it's actually not that difficult. If you run dungeons all the time, it is not that hard to get all the way there for almost no money. Now, there is a trinket in uh, Demon Fall Canyon you can get that has 25 res on it. I am not a big fan of it. I don't know. It's just personally, there is no good loot in there that I need. So I guess I'm never going to do that place often anyway. I just do it like once for the reals. But right here, this one comes from LVRS. Now, if you've been farming the Uber Ski for a long, as long as I have, you're going to have this trinket anyway. This is 10 fire res. It is not as good as the one from Demon Fall Canyon, which is 20. Although this on use cooldown can be useful if you're not if you're not at the cap yet. But I will assume you have been a gold feeding citizen and you actually did Demon Fall Canyon, which is fairly easy. It is like a 20% drop rate, I think, for that trinket. And you do have 25 resistance. And that only means you're 10 short if you got that trinket. Now, sadly, it is at this point that things start getting a little more tight. Now, I will talk about one item that even warlocks can use, and that is amazing. And this will probably, if you're at the bottom of the barrel right there, if you don't want to get a Libra, or if you cannot get like a specific item from this list, you can get the Blazing Emblem, for example. I, I want to see how much is that thing nowadays. 190 gold, look at that. Oh boy. Yeah, this is not worth it. But one item that will set anybody over the cap really quick right here, Water Treads. Yeah, this item that you get from Hydraxian Water Lords, the one that you use to walk on water, it is also 25 resistance. You get this one at Honored, okay? So it is like two runs of Molten Core, like one hour farming trash of it, that's what you should do, honestly, that's what I did. 
And there you go, two animal fire res and you're over the cap. And literally even warlocks can use this one. And they are really good actually, 10 stamina, 10 spirit. Uh, it's not too bad. Of course, I got really lucky with this helmet. I got really lucky with my shield. And that meant I didn't have to use them. But if I was desperate to hit the cap, I would have used it. So yeah, I just wanted to show you. It is not expensive at all to hit the cap if you are being smart about it. Granted, you are going to sacrifice stats, okay? Because the best uh, fire resistance gear you can get, that means that you got to wear the less uh, fire resistance pieces overall. And that will increase your actual uh, threat values. Which, ironically, uh, shafts a bunch of classes that shouldn't be shafted. Thankfully for me, I am a prot warrior. And prot warriors have a lot of base threat with shield slam. So for the most part I was fine even though I hit like a wet noodle on this gear but another thing you should remember guys uh, I don't use these items anymore the the heart of the scale I don't use the pants because I got my tier one pants remember those have fire resistance I actually put a Librand on this so that's 20 more so it, it is the same as this as these ones that's kind of my point though you're gonna want to be uh, gradually phasing out your fire res gear as you get tier one pieces because they do have fire res on them I would not waste money on a Librand to get uh, the leather gear enchanted guys the Libra is going for 210 gold 280 it goes up and down every day and then you gotta do the quest line which is not too bad but you gotta do brd you gotta get like this crystal fire it it can take you like an hour to do when fire resistance gear is this cheap do you really want to spend money on librams unless you got like your actual tier one piece probably not now i put the enchant on this one because obviously i am going to use this for the whole tier that would be stupid if i didn't but i guess that's another way you can actually hit the cap even though it's going to cost you a life a fortune anyway i wanted to tell you that you should even if you don't use a fire res item anymore you got your pants you put the item here you got your trinket you put the item here do not throw them out because even though tier one has fire resistance and you're gonna replace a bunch of items it doesn't have as much okay the gloves are only seven the pants are only 10 compared to the 30 you get from these pants and you might hit a point where you actually you're better off taking out one piece of gear and putting like a piece with a lot of fire res instead so you don't have to sacrifice any more pieces of gear that is kind of the ultimate bummer about this tier, guys. It is that if you are a tank and you actually gotta hit 315 on the cap every time, you are not gonna be able to uh, use all your tier 1 pieces for your fire resistance set. Oh, there you go. It says right here, 61 fire resistance total. Now, if I were you, I would sacrifice most likely the belt. The belt is only 7 fire res and you can get a belt for 20 fire res. And I would probably sacrifice the boots because those are only 5 fire res. That's even less. You can get 2 items with 20 fire res on them and that's going to be pretty huge. If you can use mail, there are also some amazing mail gloves you can get in, in BRD from Ambassador Flamelash. I don't know if you are going to get lucky enough to get that one. It's kind of rare, but if you can get those, I would probably take the gloves away too. You really want to use your tier 1 pants, you really want to use your tier 1 chest piece, you really want to be using your tier 1 helmet because those First of all, they are going to get Librams. And you're not going to want a Libram, your fire reset and your normal set. That's stupid. That's a waste of money. And secondly, uh, they have a lot of fire res. Like, if you're going to go for your fire reset, you might as well sacrifice the items that have the least. So that way you got to sacrifice the least items overall. In the case of Warriors, you really got to go for 6 set. The 6 set of the Warrior is the only decent one, at least for tanks. So I will probably have to swap a Trinket in or something like that to actually meet the cap. I would not sacrifice more than two pieces of gear, but if you got a bad six piece bonus, if you're like a rogue or a warlock, I do not even remember the warlock one, it might be good actually. But in that case, you may want to sacrifice three of them instead of swapping a trinket. That's what I would do. Anyway, I just wanted to calm you down, guys. I wanted to show you it is not that bad to hit that cap. All you gotta do is run a Catrillion Dungeons. That's pretty easy, eh? Unless you're a Clotty. If you're a Clotty, Blizzard hates you and they don't want you to play anymore, you should quit. Subscribe, join the Discord, and thank you for watching.